If you're a professional involved in process safety, industrial safety or loss prevention in hazardous environments, or if you make decisions around personnel safety and asset integrity, this short video is for you. I'm going to take the next few minutes to provide an overview of our decision support tool that's focused on making process safety management accessible to everyone in your organisation. But first, I'd like to talk about some of the common challenges many in the industry are facing around management of safety critical elements and highlight some of the questions being asked across the industry at the moment. 1. There's no shortage of data. ERP systems such as SAP, enterprise asset management systems such as Maximo, Pi, SCADA, Spreadsheets and then a plethora of third-party systems. 2. There's no single joined-up view of the information that supports the important decisions you have to make on a daily basis. For example, which projects do you allocate budget to? This can all too often come down to who shouts the loudest. 3. Ironically, the more raw data we have, the more of a challenge it becomes to make decisions. 4. This big data is slowing us down. It's actually making us less effective. And lastly, 5. Communicating the key safety critical touch points is becoming too laborious. Engineers end up spending more time generating weekly reports for management and less time managing. I'd like to share some of the questions we've heard which initially prompted us to develop our data visualisation tool. How can we get a full and complete view of our barrier health? How can we objectively challenge the integrity of our safety critical data? Do we have a clear line of sight of our safety critical data? Do we have a clear view of cumulative risk across all assets? Can we be 100% sure about the safety of our workforce and the integrity of our assets? Clarity PSM has been developed by industry experts to provide a clear line of sight of an organisation's safety critical elements. And it provides a simple, clear and effective tool to visualise cumulative risk across an organisation's operated assets. It does this by taking snapshots of your safety critical data at predetermined intervals, so that could be hourly, daily, weekly, and saves this to the Clarity database. It then presents this back to you using our Bowtie Barrier Model. Having access to a bird's eye view of all of your organisation's safety critical data in one place provides you with a tool that's there to support the big decisions that you're expected to make on a daily basis. I'm going to start off with the Barrier Model. After you select an asset, you're presented with an interactive bow tie showing the leading and lagging events that could contribute to a major incident with a clear view of the red, amber and green status. All of the safety critical elements on this screen are clickable and when you click on a particular area, you're taken down into the KPIs for that SCE. So for example, if I clicked on the hydrocarbon containment box, this is what you'd see next. This screen shows us the KPIs associated with hydrocarbon containment and provides us with a more informed view of the direction in which these KPIs are heading. While any one of the KPIs may be in the green, the delta column shows us the direction in which the KPI is heading, which allows you to be more proactive. Finally, when you click on any one of the KPIs, you get the detail for that particular line item. In this case, I've selected the second line item and I can now see the historic data for that particular KPI. The information you're looking at here can be presented on any timescale, so this might equally be a daily or annual view that you're looking at here. There's also a comments box at the bottom of the screen, so if you're responsible for the KPI, you can add some narrative to back up the data. Anyone with access to the data will also see these comments. I'd like to go back to the bow tie for a moment and talk about cumulative risk. The Energy Institute produced a document some years ago entitled Guidelines for the Management of Safety Critical Elements. That document talks about primary major hazards and highlights the relationship between these PMHs and safety critical elements. We've taken these PMHs and added them to the right hand side of the bow tie. So for example, if you wanted to see the overall cumulative risk for fire, you would select the fire icon on the right. 
You're then presented with the safety critical elements on the bow tie that relate to fire. With the primary major hazard box colour coded red, amber or green to indicate the status of that PMH. The number in the PMH box at the top right represents the weighted percentage of the associated KPIs, in red in this particular case. So you can see how this feature would steer you away from false positives and open up otherwise unseen risks to your plant or asset. And if you click on the PMH box at the top right, you're then presented with a bar graph showing the individual safety critical elements and their status. And another click, this time on one of the bars, takes you down into the KPIs for that safety critical element and so on. You can also see a portfolio view of all of the assets under your responsibility, as we've shown here. While we've used these PMHs in this particular example, you can use Clarity to identify many other types of cumulative risk, such as loss of containment, asset integrity, pipeline corrosion, or perhaps on the human factors, training and competency gaps. Clarity is also accessible from a smartphone and tablet, so your decision support doesn't have to end when you leave the office. So to recap on the key benefits, Clarity is providing you with a rolled up view of all safety critical elements. It's providing you with an informed decision support tool across all of your assets. It promotes the standardisation of your performance measures. It eradicates the admin effort in producing reports. It removes corporate risk by taking away the spreadsheets that you're currently using to manage safety critical data. And it also drives positive behaviours across the entire business. So before I go, I'd like to leave you with this thought. Over the last 30 years, a pattern has evolved that shows a clear association between a drop in the price of oil and major incidents occurring. One verification body we spoke with said, it's common for a drop in the oil to be followed approximately 18 months later by a major incident. I hope that's given you a good overview of Clarity PSM and its capabilities. Contact me if you'd like to understand more or to arrange a demonstration. Thanks for watching.